Hello everyone. Welcome to my video tutorials. I am Dr. V.C. Sahir and I am here to share you a bunch of information in the form of video lectures on the topic Chemical Applications of Group Theory, a very important subject taught in the chemistry undergraduate and graduate courses. Let me introduce myself with a few words quickly before we get into the video classes. I am an assistant professor of chemistry working in an affiliated institute under Kannur University in the state of Kerala in India. Regarding my qualifications, I did my bachelor's and master's in chemistry and then I got an excellent opportunity to carry out my research at Indian Institute of Technology Madras, IIT Madras, which is one of the best in class institute in India. In IIT Madras, I did my research under Professor Sanjay Kumar in the Computational Chemical Physics group in the Department of Chemistry. My researches were in the area of high-level ab initio structural studies and molecular dynamics. And coming to my teaching experience, I have 10 years of teaching experience in both uh, undergraduate and graduate courses. My area of teaching include quantum chemistry, group theory and spectroscopy. I also used to teach computational chemistry in uh, postgraduate classes as an elective course. Ok, that's about my quick profile. Now, if you want to know more about me, please go through the bit.ly link provided in the slide or you can see the link in the description box below. Ok, let's get into the point. The title of my series is Chemical Applications of Group Theory. I have given it a lecture code L01 and all my videos are arranged in the form of uh, modules and each module is assigned corresponding lecture codes so that you can easily search my videos using these series codes. And this series code is shown in the slide. If you want to search my first video in the first module, you have to look for L01 bar A1. The second video in the same module, L01 bar A2 and so on. To access the videos in the second module, you have to search with the code L01 B1, B2, B3 and so on. So what is the nutshell of this course? By the end of this course, I will show you that molecular symmetry operations can also form a mathematical group known as point group. And these point groups are characterized by the fundamental representations of the mathematical group known as irreducible representations. These irreducible representations can then be found out by applying one of the famous equations in group theory known as Great Orthogonality Theorem. Using this mathematical equation, I would then construct what is known as the character table of the point group and this mathematical table is used to illustrate various chemical applications like spectroscopy, pericyclic reactions in organic chemistry, crystal field splitting in coordination chemistry and many more. Alright, so now let me summarize the topics uh, in the form of modules that we will cover in this lecture series. In the first module, which is coded under L01 bar A, I will be uh, discussing mostly about the foundations of group theory and molecular symmetry. So in the first part of the first module, I will uh, talk about the basic principles of group theory, uh, what are the defining properties of mathematical group and all. And these are pretty mathematical and all are elementary. And then I will discuss uh, what are called molecular symmetry and point groups. And you know, to understand uh, this part, you need to have a, a three-dimensional imagination of the movement of a molecule in space. I will uh, certainly use some of the three-dimensional models to explain the different symmetry operations associated with a particular molecule. And the end of this module, I'll be discussing uh, some of the mathematical preliminaries, mostly the matrix algebra, which are required in the next few modules. 
And one important point to note down is that each symmetry operation can be represented in terms of a matrix and hence the matrix manipulation matrix algebra comes into play in most of the group theoretical calculations. In the second module which is quoted under L01B which is basically meant for uh, the representations of point groups and corresponding theorems. So in this module I will be start discussing how each symmetry operations can be represented in terms of matrix and then I will introduce you that there are two types of uh, representations reducible and irreducible representations then I will discuss how an irreducible representation can be constructed this will be demonstrated qualitatively as it is a tedious process and we don't require all these things as we have a much better machinery which is one of the backbone equation in group theory and is called great orthogonality theorem. I will be discussing the great orthogonality theorem in detail then I will construct what are called character tables. And in the end of this module, I'll be discussing the reduction formula uh, that is derived from the great orthogonality theorem and that is uh, found to be useful for many uh, calculations in the application module. And uh, I will stop this module with a small discussion on the relationship between group theory and quantum mechanics. The next module, which is coded under L01 bar C, is exclusively meant for the discussion of applications of group theory to molecular spectroscopy. In this, I will show uh, how the normal modes of vibration can be uh, associated with a particular irreducible representation and how this can be utilized in the derivation of IR and Raman active modes of the molecule. Then uh, I will discuss uh, the spectral transition probabilities and uh, using the direct product of irreducible representation I will identify the vanishing and non-vanishing integrals which ultimately lead to what are called selection rules for a spectral transition. In the similar way, I will uh, deduce the electronic spectral transitions and some of the rules for uh, uh, the electronic transitions and selection rules for uh, centrosymmetric molecules, etc. And in the next module, coded under L01 bar D, is again uh, exclusively meant for the discussion of applications of group theory but in this time it is for chemical bonding. I'll basically I will discuss how uh, the hybridization, treatment of hybridization of many molecules can be uh, carried out using group theoretical principles and each hybrid orbitals can be associated with a particular irreducible representations and all and then I will discuss uh, uh, the symmetry adapted linear combinations and projection operators which are a little more advanced part of group theory. And in the last module which is again the application of uh, group theory but in this case we will discuss the application in two cases one in the case of organic chemistry which is essentially the Woodward Hoffman rules will be discussed in detail and in the second we will uh, discuss the applications of uh, group theory to crystal field theory and basically this is applied in the coordination chemistry. All this will be discussed and in most of uh, my lectures I will be restricting myself to discuss the applications of group theory to chemical applications only although the group theory has applications in many other fields of science like chemical physics. And coming to the reference part there are quite a lot of good textbooks 
available for the chemical applications of group theory and I am sharing some of the best books that are easy to understand for a beginner. If you want to concentrate on the applications of group theory to spectroscopy, I would suggest a wonderful textbook that takes the reader on a journey through a great bit of group theory and spectroscopy is uh, by uh, Daniel C. Harris and Michael D. Bertolocchi and the title of the book is Symmetry and Spectroscopy An Introduction to Vibrational and Electronic Spectroscopy if you go inside the book, you could find uh, a number of good questions after each chapter that are very useful for a beginner. And another good side of this book is, this book is actually a hybrid of uh, quantum chemistry, group theory and spectroscopy. For each chapter, you could find a quantum chemical part, and uh, uh, a group theoretical part and spectroscopy part and in that sense uh, it's one of the best book i suggest if you are concentrating the applications of group theory to spectroscopy especially to vibrational and electronic spectroscopy now if you're searching for a book that can be used for all streams of chemistry students. I would suggest you read the book by F. Albert Cotton and uh, the title of the book is uh, Chemical Applications of Group Theory. The book actually starts with the basics like point group, then it goes to character table, then it goes to representations and finally into the applications of these group theoretical arguments in inorganic and organic chemistry through molecular orbital theory, ligand field theory, Huckel theorem, etc. It also gives applications in the interpretation of the vibrational, rotational as well as electronic spectra. The only difficulty that I had felt in this book is uh, the way in which theorems are, are being derived. If you want to have a good clarity proofs, I would suggest another book by David Bishop. It's a book that is uh, slightly more rigorous in its treatment about the group theory. I would also suggest some more books that you can also refer. And some of these books are, the first one uh, is a Hall and Lowell, and the title of the book is Group Theory and Symmetry in Chemistry. The second one is Jaffe and Orkin, uh, the title of the book is Symmetry in Chemistry. And uh, the, another book uh, written by Robert L. Carter, uh, the name of that book is Molecular Symmetry and Group Theory. There are yet another set of books that I would suggest, one by Roy McQueeny, uh, title of the book uh, Symmetry, is simply Symmetry, another one by Philip Bunker and Jensen uh, with title Fundamentals of Molecular Symmetry, and uh, yet another one by Arthur Lesk with title Introduction to Symmetry and Group Theory. These are some of the reference books that I would suggest you to read. And that's all for the time being. I now welcome all of you to my video lectures on group theory and spectroscopy. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.